Telstra has announced that it's deploying LTE broadcast across Australia and plans to introduce dynamic triggering for unicast to broadcast switching as well as service continuity between unicast and broadcast coverage areas by the end of this year, 2017. Just a year old and Open Source Mano says it's the largest open source Mano initiative and is enjoying the extra boost of having Atos, Cable Labs and Verizon join the group. Cloud native specialist Metaswitch is joining Tech Mahindra's VNF exchange program where it will provide key network functions as part of Tech Mahindra's validated end-to-end -end solutions for converged and mobile operators, including voice over LTE or Volte and voice over Wi-Fi, which unfortunately becomes Vowafi, so voice over Wi-Fi it is. Mobile display ads are on the up. By 2020, more than three quarters of all online display advertising revenue will come from mobile, according to researchers IHS Market, who say that mobile advertising has grown stronger than any other medium in the last four years. The number of unique mobile subscribers around the world will surpass 5 billion in the middle of this year and grow to 5.7 billion by 2020, when almost three quarters of the world's population will actually have a number. Tata and HPE are building the world's largest LoRa network on HPE's universal IoT platform. It will serve more than 2,000 communities in India. So that's all from us today. Watch out for further news bulletins from Mobile World Congress tomorrow.